हाई फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई चैनल पी के आर टिडबिट्स फॉर मोर वीडियोज डू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल पी के आर टिडबिट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन ऑन इनकम एंड एक्सपेंडिचर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स इन डेटा इंटरप्रिटेशन सो वेरी फ्रीकुंटली ऑस्ट इन बैंक एग्जाम्स so in my previous video on uh, income and expenditure data interpretation i have few discussed few important things to remember before solving this type of questions so please refer to this that video for those important things now coming to this question they have given two companies a and b during the period 2007 2013 and here company a is represent per profit percentage of company a is represented by triangles and profit b profit percentage of b is represented by squares now the first question is the expenditure of company a and b in the year 2008 was 16.5% sorry lakhs and 20.8 lakhs now they have given expenditure of company a and b as 16 and those things then what was the income of total income of company a together so expenditure is given and we have to find the income of those companies and add together for company a they have given us 100% is 16.5 lakhs we have to find the profit percent of company a is in 2008 is 36% so we have to find 136% here we get 16.5 lakhs into 136 divided by 100 this goes for 5 twos and zeros Five threes dot three, five fours, and zero point six six. Here this goes for four threes and four fours. So this is zero point six six into thirty four. Now zero point six into eleven into thirty four we can write it as. So eleven into thirty four is four three plus four seven and three. And this has to be multiplied by six. Six four twenty four. Six seven zero forty two forty two forty four four. Six three is eighteen twenty two. So this comes out to be twenty two point four because we have two decimals after the point. This is for company A. Now we have to find for company B. So for company B, it is. Hundred percent is twenty point eight lakhs. I mean, we have to find the one forty percent. It is twenty point eight into one forty divided by hundred hundred two zeros five two. And this goes for five four dot one six. Two sevens. This comes out to be six sevens. Forty two. Forty two. Seven one seven. Seven plus four eleven. And seven four twenty eight. Twenty eight plus one twenty nine. Twenty nine point one two. So we have to find. We have to total this two. So it is two plus four six. Four plus one five. Nine plus two eleven. Four plus two two plus two four. Four plus one five. Fifty one point five six. So here it is none of this. Coming to second question, if the income of company A is two thousand eleven and the top B is two thousand ten, or twenty four point three six lakhs and eighteen point three six lakhs respectively, then what is the total expenditure of company A in two thousand eleven and company B in two thousand ten? So it was again. First case in the proof. In the first question, we calculate expenditure. So they have given expenditure, and we calculate the income. Here we have to calculate expenditure, and they have given the incomes of the particular companies. Now here for company A, it is given to to in 2011. So in 2011, it is 45 percent. So 145 percent is 24 24.36. So we have to find 100 percent. Now we have to find hundred percent. 
24.36 into 100 divided by 145 so we shall calculate approximately in this case and here this goes for 2 times and this for 9 times so it is 29 and this goes for 20 so if you look at this it is almost uh, less than 10 times and we can consider this as around 8 times so 29 once and it can be around 8 times so so it comes around 0 sorry it since we have point we will take it as 0 0.8 times and this comes around to be 16 16 lakhs now for company b for company b in 2010 so it is 2010 and it is 35 percent we get it as 18.36 into 100 divided by 135 in the same manner we will calculate this as well approximately so it comes out to be 5 2's and 5 7's and this goes to be 5 20's and this is so this is uh, 7 2's 14's so it is approximately going for 7 times we will take it as 27 1's and this is for 0 0.7 times this comes out to be 14 or less than 14 now we have to calculate the tot total of these two values so this comes out to be around 30 in options if we see it to the close then we get it as 30.4 lakhs so it is option 1 coming to next question if the expenditure of company A in 2009 and the income of company B in 2013 are equal so they have given expenditure of company A in 2009 is equal to income of company B in 2013 then what will be the ratio of incomes of company A in 2009 and expenditure of company B in 2013 in this problem we'll, we will take expenditure of company A as 100 so we will consider this as 100 this, so we get it as uh, income of company A in 2009 as here in in 2009 company's A's profit percentage is 25 percent now expenditure is 100 income is profit is 25 percent we will calculate uh, income as 100 into 125 by 100 so this comes out to be 125 similarly so here we have also taken IB so here also IB is in 2013 is 100 we will calculate uh, our expenditure of company B in 2013 as so now in 2013 sorry this is 13 in 2013 expenditure of company B is 25 percent and we have 125 percent as 100 and we have to calculate the 100 percent so which is 100 into 100 divided by 125 this goes for 25 fours and 25 fives and this is 520s and it comes to be 80 now we have to calculate the ratio of i so this by this we'll get it as 125 divided by 80 This is 525 and this is 516. So 25 is to 16 is our answer. This is option 2. Coming to the next question. If the expenditure of company A in 2012 and company B in 2009 are equal, then income of company A in 12 and is approximately what percentage of income of company B in 2009? We calculate this. So in, as in the previous case we take expenditure of company as uh, 100 and we will calculate the income. Now here for company A in 2012 it is 35 so expenditure is uh, 100 income comes out to be 135. For company B in 2009 it is 20. Now for company B it comes out to be 
so if we take expenditure of company B as 100 we get an income of 120 we have to calculate the percentage so it is into 100 two zeros and two six two fives and five ones sorry sorry so five remains here six ones and six twos twelve remainder is one and fifteen six twos twelve dot five this comes out to be five fives twenty fives ten twelve ten eleven so it is one one two point five percent which is option three coming to next question in the following years in which year the percentage rise or fall percent profit of company B is maximum compared to its previous year so we have to take so we have to compare with the previous years so if we look at the graph for company B for company B so from 2007 to 2008 it is 42 to 40 percent so next it is 40 to 20 percent so it is falling from 40 to 20 percent if we take 100 percent as 40 and 20, so 40 minus 20 is 20 divided by 40 into 100 this comes out to be around 50 percent again from here it is 20 to 35 percent so it is 35 minus 20 it is 15 by 20 into 100 which comes out to be 5 2 5 and it is 75 percent now from 2010 to 2011 it is from 35 to 50 so 50 minus 35 is 15 and it's divided by 35 since it is base value into 100 this goes for 5 threes and 5 sevens and it is 5 sorry 7 ones and remind of 3 7 fours it comes out to be 12 1 4 3 4 so it is 42 percent so this also less so we, up to now we have 75 percent as highest rise here now falling now 50 to 45 percent so which will not almost equal it is almost less than 75 percent and again it is 45 to 25 percent if you take this uh, so it is 20 by 45 into 100 so 45 20, 50 percent is almost uh, comes to 22 and so it is less than 50 percent so our answer we have we have to calculate the highest rise or fall percent so here in 2009 it has the highest rise of 20 75 percent so our answer is option 2 that's it guys thank you for watching my video for more videos do subscribe to my channel pk tidbits you can also follow me in facebook at facebook.com slash pk tidbits have a nice day